We're in Merrilog, and we're heading off for lunch, and I'm with Daryl <laughs> and his wife, who's in the car, who I'll introduce you to later. But um, we're, we're sort of on the way to Buda, uh, which is where, around where the restaurant is. And so with my new friends Daryl and Shannon, we're off for lunch to Buda, which is the name of the boundary of the mountainous province of Bukidnon and the city of Davao in southern Mindanao. Where are we now? It looks like Baguio. Actually, this little part of the road has yep. taken us outside of Davao City into uh, North Caravato. Just oh, this little bit of a highway. Right. Yeah. Oh, this is fantastic. It's beautiful. It looks like Baguio, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. We've just driven into another country. And these little roads going on the left here take you into Arakan Valley where we've got some clean water projects down there, too. Right. I thought for a second you said Iraq. <laughs> Jesus, what are we? Iraq. Iraq. <laughs> this little log cabin here is, it was probably the first business up here. Uh, Kulas goes there quite often, stays overnight. I think he likes their buko pie. Right. And so what's the name of this place? Pilgrims. Pilgrims? Pilgrims, yes. Pilgrims Restaurant. Canadian Filipino food, is that correct? Yes. So he's a genuine chef, so... Yeah, right, you know. yeah. So he's a Filipino who lived in Canada for a long time. 17 years or so. Right, and then came back and... His name is Jeremy Go. Jeremy Go. Well, hopefully we'll meet him. These trees are full of spider webs and spiders. So we're here, we've made it to Pilgrims, and Daryl's taken me here. Uh, Daryl's a new friend of mine. What exactly is it that you do? Um, hey, I'm Daryl Nelson, and I operate an organization called Clean Water International Philippines, and we provide clean water for schools and households, specifically in rural areas of Mindanao and different parts of the Philippines. So we do disaster relief as well. Right. So we thought we'd take Marshall up here to one of our favorite places in the mountains, yeah. called Pilgrim's Cafe. Fantastic. And this is Shannon, <laughs> who's Daryl's Darryl's wife. My and better half. His better half. And uh, they're Canadian, as you can hear. I'm Australian, as you know. Uh, hi, Shannon. Hi, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> good. Um, thanks very much for bringing me here, uh, he said before he even seen the place properly. Let's go in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jeremy Go, hey. and he's the owner of this restaurant. And I was just talking to Jeremy, and he very interestingly explained the concept of the cuisine and the menu. Uh, could you please explain that again? Yes, for sure. Uh, so we're from Toronto, Canada, right? Yep. Um, so Toronto is very uh, diverse city. Yep. Right. Very, you know, multicultural. Multicultural, right? like like Melbourne in a way. We were sort exactly. of agreeing exactly. Before. So, yeah. so what we did in here is to make sure of all the uh, uh, cultures and cuisines, right? With, um, you know, we, we took out we took out the Asian product though, because yep. we're right. in the Philippines anyway. We're not a fusion restaurant, but you know, we're just you know comfort food, um, you know, classic. With we're, we're, we're just plating it up uh, a little bit different, more more current. Right, okay, yeah. yeah, the menu does look a, a bit right. European and it's, yeah. it's a little bit eclectic and really interesting. Yeah, so we're heavy on French, Italian, Mediterranean, right. Right, some Jamaican, Caribbean, yeah. just, and that just kind of stuff. Just throw some Jamaican there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, so, so anything but Asian, um, but yeah. Right, okay, that's, that's fantastic. 
Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. What have you we know, got? So here you go. Here's our heirloom tomatoes in burrata. Yes, I was hoping you <laughs> awesome, yeah. The burrata is coming from Bukidnon. The heirloom tomatoes are from Kalina. Our local uh, our hummus. In our flatbread, hummus comes oh, with oh. Uh, smoked tomatoes, pickled onions, scoop, mm -hmm. and some olive oil. And this is our very Canadian thing, which is our poutine. Poutine, we just talked about right? oh. uh, so, But our poutine, though, We've got poutine. It's, not, it's not french fries, so we roast oh, our potatoes. Yes. Right? Yes. Topped with mozzarella coming from uh, Bukidnon dairy as well. There you go. Enjoy. Oh. Nice. Is some of this produce from Hectors of Hope? Correct. The heirloom tomatoes are from Hectors of Hope and also the uh, the radishes. Nice. And, uh, poutine. Yeah, we're about 90% I've of never had poutine. poutine. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you very much. You would pick, so oh, there you go. Uh, I always pick the best for you guys, right? Well, Marshall was just asking about poutine. Yeah. And he basically said it sounds like a heart attack. It is. It is, but you, you, you know. We'll die good. <laughs> we'll die happy. We'll die, we'll die happy. happy. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to start with the poutine. I reckon. We don't have a serving spoon. We don't. Very cheesy. Ooh, those Canadians. Look at that. That'll be enough to start. All right, I'm just going to. Oh. It's a real artery clogger. Gravy and it's salty, potatoy and cheesy. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a crazy mix. These um, heirloom tomatoes look just sensational. A bit of pesto on top. Oh, dig in, everybody. It's slightly vinegary. The tomatoes are delicious. Not too acidic. Yum. Well, I think poutine is something that I'm going to have again. Mm. A little different than the Canadian poutine. Yeah. In that in Canada they use French fries. Right. Here they're using uh, potatoes. Uh, diced potatoes. It's like an upmarket version. Yeah. I'm making a mess. <laughs> Gotta try this hummus. That's different. There's a herb in there. What is it? It's a bit of paprika. It's coming through. Is that a little bit of pesto in there? Mm, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, it's pesto. pesto in the, the hummus. It goes perfectly with the um, tomatoes. Or as the Canadians say, tomatoes. Tomato. Um, these beautiful, beautiful heirloom tomatoes are organically grown and they come from a farm called Hectares for Hope, which is run by it's run by a Filipino Canadian. Another one. Another one. Um, and he came here, created this organic farm where their hopes is to help indigenous farmers elevate them from poverty to middle class in like five years. It's, it's an amazing organization. So the idea is to teach people to be able to value add down the food chain. So I asked these knowledgeable Canadians that I'm sitting with, <laughs> as they come from Canada, I said, oh, so what does poutine actually mean? And they said, oh, we don't know. What does it mean in English? There's a we don't know. So we Googled it. What does it mean? It means mess. It's it means mess. 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 <laughs> right. So this is our breakfast um, brisket hash topped with Mornay, some remolata, pea shoots. And this is our truffled mushroom gnocchi, right? Reggiano, parmigiano, and some thyme. And this is our pot pie. Chicken pot pie. Just classic, you know Chicken I mean? pot pie. Yeah. There you wow. go. Whoa. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. How's everything so far, though? Oh. Fantastic. Yeah. And the service yeah. is fabulous. Oh, boy. These are complex dishes. This is a be looks beautiful. It's the brisket hash, which is beef brisket, poached eggs, home fries, which are potatoes, if you don't know, Mornay, and blistered tomatoes with a whole lot of parsley on top. Looks delicious. This one is the chicken pot pie, and we'll examine that a little further later. And then this delicious looking thing is a truffle gnocchi. 
is Buda, with Budokon potatoes. Is that right, this one? Actually, I believe yeah. so. Book it non-potatoes, ricotta, mushroom, truffle cream sauce, and Reggiano Parmigiano. Gnocchi with a cream truffle sauce and the Reggio Parmigiana. Potato gnocchi. Chicken pot pie. Oh. Mushroom, carrot and leek with chicken. Looks pretty good. Oh, yum. I love the crust. Yeah, the crust is great, isn't it? Yeah. And delicious. Pilgrim's Restaurant is one of a group of restaurants in this compound that are all family owned. And so we've set off to have a look at the others. The pizza igloo. <laughs> So this is Mohican's restaurant, which is one of a group of restaurants. What I need to ask is, where are we? If someone wants to come here, how would you direct them? So if you're not from around here, we're actually, you know, uh, in Buddha. So Buddha literally means uh, between Bukidnon and Davao, so short for Buddha. So we're about, about an hour and a half or so from Davao city. Um, right. Yeah. Okay. And so what a lot of people do too, is they'll stay at an Airbnb or one of the, the, the other places around here mm. and then just eat their way through all the different restaurants, which would be a pretty good idea. If there's going to be, there'll be Indian soon, there's Mexican, there's um, whatever Pilgrim's is, which is like Canadian, European Correct. style right, sort of restaurant. Right. And then there was Sebastian's, which is Filipino. So right, you've got an exactly. enormous uh, range of cuisines to Correct. eat your way through. Right. And they're all pretty good restaurants from what I can tell. We're going to have a dessert here at Mohicans uh, before we finish off. Sweet. Yeah, all right. Terrific. Thanks. Uh, We've changed our minds. Or just open. We're not going to have uh, a dessert at Mohicans. We're going to have a dessert at Sebastian's. It just seems like such a shame to mix it because it's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's like destroying a Picasso. You see, I'm, I'm weird because I always ask for a bigger, bigger bowl and then dump the whole thing in and mix and it all together. <laughs> all mushed up. Oh, that's good. We're just finishing a delicious meal with a hot chocolate with peanut butter. Yeah. Hot chocolate with peanut butter. Oh, that's it. We're all full. It's just about to rain. The temperature's dropped incredibly. We're at around about the same altitude as Baguio. Uh, so it's really nice and cool. Uh, and uh, what a fantastic place to come. Mm -hmm.